Scanners today. Oh shit. Hell yeah, I love scanners. I have never seen scanners. I've seen it uh, at least twice, but it's been a while since I've last seen it. It's one of those movies that like I'll watch if it's on TV like when it was on TV, you know? Mm. I say. This is Scanners from nineteen eighty one. Yep. With a six point seven out of ten on IMDB. Higher than usual. Hour and forty three minutes. Rated R. By the man, the myth, the legend, David Cronenberg. Yep. A scientist trains a man with an advanced telepathic ability called scanning to stop dangerous scanners with extraordinary psychic powers waging a war against on scanners. Next scanners, all right. My cat is losing his mind in he the found, background. He found something that moves. So he's now patting it, and that's going to be his joy for the next 20 minutes. Uh, this features the... Uh, I think I know Patrick McGowan. Yeah, he's Ducky from NCIS. Yep. It features the great Michael Ironside. Mm -hmm. He has fifth freedom. Splinter Cell. Yeah. And... I want to say... Um, I really want to say it has Frank Oz, given the the guy whose head explodes, how he looks. Maybe. But I don't think it's Frank Oz. Yeah, I'm not too sure. They would say Frank Oz. Yeah, true. Anyway, I've never seen this. I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to watch this again. It's been a while. Let's jump right into this Canadian fucking masterpiece. Yep. I would like to scan all of you in this room, one at a time. I must remind you that the uh, scanning experience is usually a painful one, sometimes resulting in nosebleeds, earaches, stomach cramps, nausea, sometimes other symptoms of a similar nature. At this point, I'd like to call for volunteers. Fine. Just uh, sit right here, please. I'd like you to think of something specific. Do I have to close my eyes? It doesn't matter. All right, yes, I have something. Yes. scanners for the first time it's very long it felt longer it's than long. it was yeah it feels very long like it's an hour it's an hour 40 it didn't feel like which it. isn't that bad no nah, but it, but it felt like it felt like two hours and 30 minutes it felt like crawl oh fuck yeah shots to crawl is that like the longest we've ever done because it might be no, but f only because uh, for a birthday special years ago, Gio and I reviewed The Stand. Oh, no, I mean us. Oh, yeah, like, I, I think it's as long as we've done, done yeah. yeah. 
Are you doing the entirety of the stand? Well, the the old stand. Oh, okay. The fucking. Here's my review of the the Amazon show of the stand. It's it sucks except for Alexander Skarsgård, who's really sure. good as Flag. Aside from him, it sucks. Ezra Miller's there. He sucks. Amber Heard's there. She sucks. <laughs> They're all in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. I didn't know that. Fucking hell. Whoopi Goldberg's there. She's pretty good. Huh. They waste her character though. Yeah, good to see Whoopi still doing stuff. Because they instead of having Mother Abigail actually talk to God, she's just crazy. Classic. Fucking great. I read the stand one day. It's just very long. So I hear. Don't read it. Audiobook. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's what I'm I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna fucking read all of it. Or comic adaptation. Oh, uh, I got the first vault four volumes. I think probably just read that at some point. If I only have the first four volumes, I warn you. I mean that's fine online. Yeah, Scan it is a film. So we, we, we start out uh there's I mean, this, you remember anything in the movie. Uh, a guy could enter a a guy enters through the like, like a homeless guy. Yeah. Enters presumably a shopping mall food court. Who yeah. emergency yeah. exit. Yeah. And I momentarily break Matt's mind. Yeah. Because I'm like, so it's you can only exit an emergencies. Yep. But can you enter at any time through I, an emergency? I guess and he's so. like, no, I'm going to be thinking about that the whole movie. I stopped halfway through because I forgot how fucking ridiculous this movie gets. Also, I brought donuts. You brought donuts. And donuts <laughs> fix things. Donuts are very good. Thank you. Um, and he he sits down. He steals things from people's lunch trays. I think they were just stuff that were left there. Well, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say yeah. that. And uh, then there are two women looking at him and th- and he's re- accidentally reading their thoughts about how much he sucks. So I think he makes one of them have a stroke. Yeah, he's about to fucking blow her head off. And then he he gets chased by the cops. He he escapes using an elev- an escalator the wrong way. He hops over it. How do you mean using the escalator the wrong way? Well, he's grabbing onto the you know the the, ro- the moving banister. <laughs> he's holding onto that, but he's on the outside of the yeah. escalator. And then he climbs back in. He gets a fucking elephant dart shot in him to the hand, and then he collapses up. at the top of the escalator. And the agents take him away. Oh god! You know when you're when when you're at, at the mall or when you'd be uh, at, uh, at at on, on campus, mm-hmm. and people would just stop and talk at the top of the escalator. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking move! I had one dude today on the way here. Cause it's, it's the metro here, right? Mm. And at, at the metro, it's very long to get up. So I just stand. I don't walk it. I just stand there. And I'm standing on the right side like I'm supposed to. Mm-hmm. And there's these people walking up on the left side like they're allowed to. To get to the top, and I'm about to, like, step to, like, start taking my stop. This dude on the left just stopped. Like, right in front of me. I'm like, you're on the left side. You should be moving. What pisses me off the most is at Peel Metro. There's the escalator to come up. Yeah. And the escalator was not broken. The escalator was working. Then there's the one-person-wide staircase to go down. And people would be coming up the stairs. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I don't get it either. (laughs) It's only in that one section, too, because we have the other side that has, like, the big stairs. Because then I'd have to, like, move yeah. out of the way because they, they're coming up. And God forbid anyone else is going to get out of my way. Yeah, yeah they're going up. So, going so he wakes up in his hospital. He's like, yo, what? You've got psychic powers. You're, you're called scanning. scanning. You got a, you're scanning. Don't you mean shining? Do you want to get sued? Do you want to get sued? <laughs> yeah, it's the whole movie, almost. <laughs> Actually, the opening theme yeah. is very similar to the dun dun yeah. dun dun dun. When was this? 87? 81. 81. They're both 81. Oh, shit. I don't know. I think The Shining is 1980. That sounds more right. Um, and then there's this talk show and there's this dude who looks very much like Frank, a little like Frank Oz. <laughs> at this demonstration. So I'm, I'm going to pr- show y'all my psychic powers. Uh, hey, could you have a volunteer from the audience? Like, hi, I'm, I'm Michael Ironside. Sure is. You don't sound evil at all. Please, come down. <laughs> I'll inter- think of something. Oh, no, now my head's blowing up. And then it blows up. And there's an agent there that goes, oh, oh, yeah. fuck. Because I guess they were there just to see if he was actually a scanner or not. Um, he has this weird scar between his eyes. 
Little, little we find bump. out later that it's because he tried to drill into his own head. Yeah, you gotta get the people out. Just get the people out of his head. Yeah. And then he covers it with a bandage with a picture of a third eye on it, which yes. is symbolic. He's not uh, an antagonist. Well, I say main antagonist, but like, he's only in here for like 20 minutes of the whole movie. Maybe? Best part of the movie. He's Michael Ironside. I mean, yeah. Now, it's weird that the head explosion happens so early. Yeah. Because there's not a lot else for a long Yeah, span and that's like the film. one thing everyone kind of knows from this movie is the big head explosion. I mean, the head explosion was a fucking early night. Yeah, it was fucking great. I love it. I wish Fist of the North Star movie had a head explosion. <laughs> I mean, what's the point of Fist of the North Star if you don't get to see a dude's head explode? That's what I'm saying. And it's live action for some reason. Of course. God, that movie was awful. <laughs> of course. Have you seen? No, I don't even like regular Fist of the North Star that much. I was thinking to watch the live action. Even the OVA? Oh, the OVA's fine. That's, that's all I've really seen. Yeah. Uh, I, I read the manga, and like it's fine. Yeah, manga. I'd rather read JoJo, but even then, meh. It, it's, yeah, I, not, I'm, I'm more a bigger fan of Baki than I'm not a fan of JoJo. Neither am I. I like a few parts. That's JoJo's right. been ruined for me. <laughs> Fucking... Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like a few parts, but I'm a bigger Baki fan myself. Baki's fucking insane. When it comes to anime, there's not a lot for... I like Kill a Kill. But Kill a Kill's fun. I like Gaku Garashi. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fun one, too. I like, um... I like Oron High School Host Club. Shout out to Oron High School Host Club. I don't give Host a shit Club. who knows it. Nah, I like yeah. Madoka. Madoka Maguka. I like that one. <laughs> And then, aside from that, it's mainly just, like, random OVAs and yeah. Miyazaki movies. Shout out to Maguka Magica. Also, and I don't care who disagrees, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's an anime. No one gives a <laughs> shit about your pedantic nonsense. If you're a fan of... I have a tangent, but if you're a fan of Madoka, just watch 4chan explains Madoka. Oh, no. It's... Basically, the whole premise is someone asked on, like, the Reddit, like, the, whatever thread it was on 4chan, what's Madoka about? And instead of giving people genuine answers, almost somehow all the shit posters got together and just said, take every bad screen cap you can of the episodes, and that's how we're doing it. Oh, so we'll just take, like, a really weird, like, in between cell, like, facial animation. And just completely fuck up the whole script. It's seven minutes and it's great. Oh, by the way, the villain's called Daryl Reddick. It sure is. It sounds like Reddit when they when they say it. Yeah, so we just Reddit. call him Mr. Reddit. <laughs> yeah, he's just Reddit. It's great. The fight Reddit blows people blows the guy's head up. And then we don't see him for a while because uh, the government people they they send them out for or whatever the fuck it's called. Yes, yeah, some science people. They 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 want to stop the scanner program because. They're, they're terrorists or something. Yeah, and uh, the doctor is like, well, no, scanners are... We can help them. And they go, well, that's stupid, and I say no. He said, I'm a doctor, and I say yes. And they went, he's a doctor. I'm a disgruntled military guy in a military movie, so I'm a... He's definitely no. not working with the bad guy, by the way. Spoilers, he's working with the bad guy. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Uh, so they, he goes. I didn't see it coming because I spent the whole time looking at him trying to figure out if he's an actor I recognize because he has <laughs> that kind of face. Same. Uh, but you know, the 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 doctor person is like, we got one scanner who can help us find Reddit, and it's the guy from the beginning. Yeah. What What's his name? I couldn't tell. Him. I, main I honestly don't remember. Main character man. MC. We got MC over here. Yeah, MC. The, uh, we got the player. Who? Yeah. Who basically. He's a scanner, but he's but he, like super... he doesn't have his powers yet. No. Like he hasn't figured them out. So like, you're gonna go on a quest. Fuck me, it's an anime. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta go find the other scanners, dude. And then he finds the cult of scanners, and then well, first he finds uh he 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 sends to find Guy Pierce. Yeah. Who is a reclusive scanner, who does art, and so he goes. He looks at his art. He st- he violates a guy's do- mind to get the the address. He goes to visit Mr. Pier- Mr. Guy Pierce. He's a scrumpled guy. He has a diving suit just hanging out in his house. That's he's cool. fun in the movie. He's like, I then some dudes show up with shotguns and kill him. And destroy all his art. It's almost seemed worse. Yeah, it seemed, okay, buddy. You're already killing the guy. Like, come in. There's a great scene with him where he's like, uh, what are you doing here? 
He's like, well, I need help, and I came to see you. You need help, and you came to see me? And he just laughs. I'm one of you. You're one of me. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm a scanner. Right. <laughs> Guy Pierce is great. He's, yeah, he's having a good time. He gets killed. He gets um, killed. Passes. Dude escapes. Yeah, he gives him a message about like where yeah. to find the uh, the other people. He goes to meet them. They get attacked by the dudes with shotguns. Almost instantly. Oh, like immediately. I, one character puts it like everyone you go to who you go to meet ends up dying. Yeah, like fuck you, off. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, I'm here to help, and he's like, oh, you're not fucking helping. Like, he seems to just be getting all of us killed and like really easy. Yeah, like actually, and then uh, so he. he they sit in a circle and sing Kumbaya for a bit. He, he might have a love interest lady. Maybe. She doesn't like him, so. But, but basically, they're all other scanners, and they're just trying to fight Reddit, but also fight the government, because yeah. their government just wants them dead anyway. Which is proven by the fact that the government keeps trying to kill them. Not even trying, they So they, they all die except for main dude and main girl. They escape and, in a van that's a school bus, by the way. Very they, important. They go to... Um, they find a vial. They find a vial of drug. They go to the the ba- the, the government base. Yeah. So and... I shout out when he goes to the museum, by the way, and fucking harasses an old guy. Yeah. Because <laughs> he just wants the information. Yeah, he, he goes into his brain. He yeah. steals it from his mind. Very cool. That's how the lady also knew him, because she recognized him from there. So they, they get captured by the government. They get uh, kind of debriefed. They separated. And they they separated. They they escape. Um, well, and every every there's been a few scenes with uh, Michael Ironside with the government dude, mm-hmm. who's been like, you have to, you have to kill. Him. He's like, oh, but if I kill him, he's like, I want, I want him dead. Give me dead. And he goes, okay. So he ends up with the girl instead. Yeah. <laughs> Tries to kill her. She escapes because mind powers. Duh. They escape. They both escape. Uh, he. He focuses on a computer system database to find out where the doctor who's behind all this is. Yeah, because he also finds out that the government dude is basically using the program to help. Yeah. That's when they find like the right programmer. Fuck, it's called. This is when he, he's, he's dumb. He's hooked into the computer. It's hacking the mainframe, bro. And so they're like, "Oh, we're gonna put the self destruct on the computer." Well, no, we, we need all the... Uh, do it now or I'll shoot you. Okay, okay, fuck. Okay, fuck. You're fine. And then it... Oh, it works. Blows up the gas station and melts the phone. Doesn't kill him, though. No, it, break, no, it breaks the power line. Right, which falls on which the, falls on on the, the oh, gasoline. Which falls on the gas station. Blows up the, blows gas, up the station. gas station. And, and then the phone blow, melts. Yeah, the phone melts and then blows up the telephone. <laughs> and in all this blaze of glory, the scientists are getting blown out the window. I'm pretty sure they're okay because they only took the brunt of it. But the main bad military dude uh, gets exploded to a door, and the door kills him. I presume because as we don't see how he dies. As it should. As it should. So, he dies, and they're like, "Well." So they go fuck. to find Doctor Frain. They find him. Uh, the girl gets apparently scanned by a baby. By a baby. Uh, in vitro. Which is how they find out the whole government conspiracy. And they're using this ephemeral to make people give birth to scanners. Yeah, basically making scanners. And it's... then fucking Reddit captures the, 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 the hero. And it's like, I'm we, with you. Uh, you are actually my brother. The, the weird beard doctor is our father. And together we will take over the world. They're stupid. Fuck, Fuck you. you. You're Fuck stupid. Me. Fuck you. And then they just have a mind off. <laughs> and like the, 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 you had some cool effects. Yeah, there. really good like vein effects happen with leading to the skin, the Michael um, Ironside's face like slowly fucking. Michael Ironside's eyes turn white. Other dude, fucking his eyes explode and he catches fire. Okay, yeah, catches fire. And, and then uh, the girl comes down, sees main character is a crispy critter. Yeah. And Michael Ironside is huddled in the corner, but then it's like, oh no, though, the main character is Michael Ironside. The main character are now one. And he doesn't have the scar anymore. And the movie's over. Yes. The credits rolled after that. And this got sequels. Yep. Apparently. Yep. <laughs> the it's, fuck was this movie? Yeah, it, it's such a weird movie. Because like, I've seen this before. And even I don't really know the whole concept of it. I just think it's a fun watch like with someone who's never seen it before. It's like showing your friend like, a really weird movie that they don't understand. 
It's neither the best nor the worst David Cronenberg I've ever seen. That's it. It's I think it's perfectly down the middle. It's just it's it exists. The, pretty much the the best way I can put the, the put this movie. So was that a happy ending? That was an ending. That's enough. <laughs> it was an ending. That's enough. Like it just ends, and you're like, okay. Oh, uh, any thoughts or anything else you want to say about this one? I say check out Scanners. It's interesting at the very least. There's like a lot of talking, which oh fuck yeah, which you know I know is not everyone's cup of tea. Okay. Yeah. I have an actual cup of tea. <laughs> uh, but I think it like if you want to like kind of explore some science fiction classics, I think Scanners is up there. Like, yeah. A lot of people talk about Scanners. Never come boy and his dog first, but true. Because I'm a what do you call a stan? Yeah. I'm a fucking mark for Harlan Oliver. I, I didn't like 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 out of like because I've also had the same thing with the boy and his dog. Where it's like these are some of the ones that always get recommended. I it's interesting to watch. You'll probably love it or you'll hate it. It's just one of those movies. It's the worst Cronenberg I've seen up to this point would have to be The Brood. He did that. Yeah. yeah. Like in the seventies. Oh, okay. With Oliver Reed. Huh. The best probably well, the fly. Yeah. The Fly or Rabbit? I haven't seen Rabbit. Zombie yeah. movie. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. In I'm Montreal. Seen. Zombies on the Metro. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched The Fly, which yep. it's great. fucked me up for a while. There's a scene cut out of The Fly where he ta- he he takes the, the melted off foot of the yeah. dude on the ground, extrudes a proboscis, yeah. And drinks it, ah. and I'm glad it was co- not because it's a, it's a really cool effect. Yeah, but yeah. I'm glad it was cut out, not because it's gross, just because it it fucks with the pacing of the scene. Yeah, so you're just gonna stop and eat the dude's foot. <laughs> uh, all right, you're kind of in a situation here. But I'll, I'll you, never forget when we when we did that one. You're like, wait, you've never seen the fly, and I was like, no. Oh. And you were like, oh boy. And also, I'm very sorry. Yeah, it really, really fucked me up. Like, being early COVID, too, like, that shit was, I was unprepared how powerful that movie was. Oh, uh, do you know what my favorite COVID watch was? I watched 28 Days Late. Yeah. It was just fine. It was a movie. Yeah. But then it was like, oh, uh, the making of 28 Days Later. Sounds great. Like, it's going to be like how, anecdotes of the filming, how they cleared. How they got that one clear shot of London yeah, on the road. Yeah, it's great. Like, the idea for it was like, Viral diseases. Why are they going to kill us? Like, nope, not, not watching that. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> not right now. No, thank you. And the best COVID ones we did. I mean, we did all the tremors. Yeah, it was Titanic fun. Too. It was fun. Titanic two was not fun. No, no, just tremors. In Spider Man. Yes, yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man are great. Those are fun. Captain America is distinctly less fun. Distinctly less fun, but fun to poke at. The uh, the Grindhouse double feature. Oh, we did do that. It's right. Yeah, that was a lot of fun too. <laughs> Which I was, was originally doing Tenacious D. And we had to redo that one. Broke. But we got to watch it twice, which. Yeah, so as you see, I watched it over and over again. Yeah, it's a good movie. Another anime I kind of like is Inuyasha. Yeah, it's a classic. But I couldn't finish it because it's stupid long. Yeah, it's, it's like five seasons. Is it in the final one? Like hundreds of episodes. It's too much for me. Yeah, I'm reading One Piece right now. <laughs> Remember Ultimate Teacher? Yeah. That's, I gotta watch that again. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next week, you got a movie? Yeah, a movie. I don't know what happens in the movie. Oh. But there's a ship. Okay. There's death. Well. It's all I know. It's all you know? It's all I know. All right, well. But I've been Merrick Tomato. I've been Mac. And we'll see you in the next one. In the, the next, next episode. One. The next one. Bye bye! The next one. Why am I Mark replying? And the next one. And the next one. Doing crap. Uh, <laughs> See Why was I Markiplier? I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure Bye-bye. that out.